Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a haul from Kohl's. I went there last night, which by the time this was posted, it's actually gonna be Saturday night I went. So I think I spent $26, which doesn't really sound like a lot, but I feel like I got a couple things. Bag of stuff. I got seven items for $26. If we're gonna divide it, that's about like less than $4 per item. I'll tell you the price of everything. There was one top that I got that it was <laughs> that was $1.20. Before I get started with the haul, I think it, the sale actually ended this past Sunday. I think I'd seen a sign that said it was ending on February 5th. The only thing with this clearance thing, which like I said, I really can't complain because I was getting shirts for $1 and $3. It is only specific brands that a lot of the stuff was clearance. Like if you're expecting Nike and Adidas to be on sale, it's not really any of the name brand stuff. A couple of Levi's I'd seen, and there was even a Levi's shirt that I wanted, but it was a large and it looked a little bit too boxy. I think everything that I actually bought is from the brand. So there was a couple of cute like Adidas stuff that I wanted. And even there was a dress from Nine West that I wanted, but of course none of that was on sale. But I saw like my mom had Kohl's rewards, so I might just go back and spend her rewards on that. So let's get started with this Kohl's haul, and I hope you enjoy. So first is this little halter top. The one thing that I was kind of sad about was like a lot of the tops that I liked that were clearance, they were all extra small and small. Typically I'm a medium and everything, so this is actually an extra small, but thankfully it looks a little bit big, so that's why I got it. So originally this cost $30, which I feel like $30 for this is a little expensive to begin with. And then it was clearance down to $9, which $9 seems a little bit better. And I mean, it, I don't even care if it looks bad, if it look, if it doesn't fit right. Can I really be mad about it? Probably not. And I think I'll just try to make it work. I'm going to try this on now. Sorry, one more thing I have to say. A lot of the stuff, they did have some jeans and whatever, but shopping for jeans is just too like difficult. So pretty much everything I got was like summer type of clothes, but I am supposed to go on vacation in April, so I thought this was a good opportunity to buy some clothes for my vacation. Guys, oh my god. I need to loosen this up a little bit because it is kind of choking me. And I didn't even realize that it wasn't looking right when it was just kind of like tied around my neck like a regular halter. So then I'm like, wait, is this a crossover? I didn't even know that it did this. This is cute. You know, I love an open back situation girl obviously halter's gonna have open back but i love this i'm so happy i got it you know i was kind of debating because it being an extra small but it just looked a little bit oversized for that off to a good start i was gonna say something oh i really like the material it's really soft and smooth i don't know if you guys can tell it's like kind of like a towel or something i don't know how to describe it but it's very smooth i'm ready to wear this on vacation i did get three pairs of shorts I need a size 4 when it comes to shorts because the size 3 is too tight and size 5 I feel like it's a little bit too baggy. So I got two pairs that are size 5 and then I got one pair that's a size 3. So this is a 5 and this is from that same brand and this originally was $38 priced down to $9.50. $38 this costs $4.75 for these ones. I got more tops but I kind of want to switch the bottoms and just see how shorts would look with <laughs> this top. So I'm going to try these out. I love jean shorts and I think I only have like one or two pairs of them. I really love getting them from Forever 21 so if these don't work out I might be going on Forever 21 and trying to find some. So as I said I just need a size in between 3 and 5 because these just they are a little bit short. We got some under butt here happening. <laughs> yeah I just I have a lot of space in here and I don't really like to wear a belt to begin with but especially with jean shorts. So I don't know how I feel about them. And I think a lot of the time what happens when my shorts are like too big on me, they start riding up and then it just kind of like makes it look like I have a flat butt in a way. I mean, they feel nice and I, if they fit better, I actually like how they look. I'm sad because I like how they look. I just hate returning things and I don't even know like if you can, they didn't say, listen, I worked at Kohl's. <laughs> okay. I don't know when I would have told you this story. <laughs> when I worked at Kohl's, actually I was working at Sephora. Cannot believe this happened. So there was one day that I had to do training back in customer service and I was so nervous for it because I'm like, people are always giving customer service workers a hard time about returning everything. But <laughs> there was this guy that came in one day, he had brought these worn out Levi jeans, probably took out of his closet. He was trying to say that he had bought them and you could just tell that he's had these jeans for at least like 10 years and they took them back. I mean, the 
customer service worker, like she was kind of giving him a hard time because she knew that these things, he might have picked them up at the Goodwill. I don't even know where he got them from. But yeah, no receipt, no tag, worn out, and they exchanged them. I think it was crazy. No proof that he even got them at Kohl's. They didn't even have that style. They couldn't find them in the store. So, I mean, for shorts that still have the tags, I have the receipt. I feel like I should be able to return them and get something different. Okay, next we have this little top. I feel like this is a top that I might put on my sim, like my little daughter. Girly and kiddish in a way. Originally $24 and it's $2.40. Shirt that's $1.20. So here's this top. It is a little see-through, so don't mind that. But I think it's so cute. I feel like with the right type of shorts, or even with these shorts, if they fit better, it looks like a really cute summer outfit and I feel like a cute little peach or like a little tangerine. I started tanning again so I feel like I can realistically see now how I'll look in the summer with certain things. It's kind of that terry cloth I think type of towel vibe. Okay we have another pair of shorts. These ones are size 3 so now it's time to figure out if I'm a size 3 after all. These ones originally were 38 and then they're down to 760, 380. Let's try these ones on. Guys, it's looking like a size three. I'm kind of happy that I fit into a size three. I'm pretty sure I talked about this maybe when I was trying on jeans or something from Fashion Nova, because I was getting jeans in a size five, and I think I might've said that I was the size three. This is how I like them to fit. They are like riding up a little bit. For space, I don't have as much, which I like. They're cute, but chic is kind of coming out but they fit a lot better than the other pair and I'm kind of sad because if I would have known that I was a size 3 they had so many pairs I kind of wish I would have just bought them and then I have another halter top here this was originally 30 so this was 375 but it's just like this floral little top okay here is the next top I think it's super cute it's kind of giving me like Austin Powers anytime there's flowers and I'm giving groovy it's giving Austin Powers but I love this one. This one's in a size small. And again, the same situation with the overcross halter. I got this long sleeve top. And it is a little bit big looking. This is an extra small. This was originally 28, 75% off. So it's down to 7 plus the 50% off. And I actually like this, even though it obviously is fitting a little bit bigger. It's really comfortable. And I think this is perfect really any time of the year but especially like in the summertime starts cooling off at night you could wear this top with some jean shorts I don't know I just think about going to the beach and like going on the boardwalk and you got your little long sleeve top on and even though it was 90 degrees earlier it's probably like a nice cool 75 now so I'm excited to wear this so we have one more pair of shorts to try these are size 5 Originally 36 went down to nine dollars. It's the last pair of shorts. They're not as short obviously as the pairs before like, you know, we got We got some butt covered here. They are very stretchy and I do have some space I don't really mind them as much I think because maybe the length of them It doesn't in my opinion look as bad being like oversized the other ones are shorter and fitting bigger They kind of just start riding up really bad. These ones. I think they aren't that bad. I'm not mad at them so I might keep these ones. I actually think the length is nice too. Sometimes I don't always want to have extremely short shorts and I know obviously I'm the one that's buying them. Even this top together with it kind of looks looks cute. I'm kind of happy. So that's everything for this Kohl's haul. I feel like it was pretty successful other than the shorts but I love all the tops that I got and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!